Welcome to making a Stuart model steam plant part 21. Fettling the Stuart 10V flywheel and box bed castings, followed by painting them with Stuart green and Stuart black paint. But before that I need to clean up the castings. This is the flywheel and as you can see if you look closely it's quite rough. And it's not going to look much better once it's painted. The casting process is a bit messy in places. Some castings I've worked on have been far worse than these and it's not really difficult to remove this excess metal using a needle file. It just takes longer than you think. I find when I'm working on flywheels I go around it once and then I realise I've missed a lot of it and go around it again. On almost all of the spokes there are jagged edges which need removing. You can use small power tools to do this job and later on in the video I will show me doing just that. But here I'm doing it in the old fashioned way using a flat needle file and a round needle file to get into the corners. These castings are squeaky clean after spending 24 hours in a bath of cellulose thinner. And because of this there are some rust spots starting to appear, but these are easily removed by the file. Once I'd finished fettling the casting I removed the grub screw because I don't want to paint over this. I used the original wooden base that the engine was screwed to as a support whilst I painted the flywheel. I would normally paint Stuart engines using this stuff, Great Western Railway Loco Green from Phoenix Precision Paints. But in with all the stuff sent by the customer were two tins of paint. This is the Stuart black paint and this one is the Stuart green paint. As you can clearly see marked on the tins it says Phoenix Precision. This paint is Phoenix Precision paint and it's really good stuff. It's a brand new tin and here I'm levering the cap off it. Before use it's always a really good idea to give the paint a thorough stir with a piece of wood. I'm using a piece of mahogany for this and I stirred it thoroughly a lot longer than you see on the video. There's not a lot more I can say in this video. I'm now about to show the painting of the flywheel and the painting of the box bed. The music that you're going to hear in the background after the thunderstorm at the beginning is a piece of music written by myself and my good friend David Orty and it's called Forgotten and the subject matter is the attack on the monastery at Lindisfarne a long long time ago by a Viking raiding party. If you listen carefully you will hear the church bells and also the seagulls as the Vikings run up the beach. And as an extra bonus, you will see the paint drying at the end of the video. That's it from me. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching. And I hope you find the video interesting.
please take the time to visit my main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.